First came tampon curls, and then the comments. This is disgusting. You should be ashamed. I feel violated right now. Wow, she really does need Jesus. Why wear them when you can eat them? Can we use used tampons to curl our hair instead? Why are guys so scared of tampons? Sure they go up our vajingjongs. Yeah, she went there, vajingjongs, and now I'm so excited, I now have a new name to call it. After reading the comments, I was inspired to come up with an even bigger and better idea, especially since my Aunt Flo is in town and I just bought her a big bundle of fluffy panty pillows, also known as maxi pads. So today I'm going to be showing you how to curl your hair with, you guessed it, maxi pads. So the cycle continues. Thumbs up if this video is making you say OMG or LMAO. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to become an official glitter critter. You won't want to miss another video like this one. So now that you know what this video is about, let's begin with a quick lesson about the product I've chosen to curl my hair with today. This is a maxi pad. As you can tell, it's fresh out of the box, clean and unsoiled. This is a not so clean maxi pad. If your pad looks like this one, roll that nasty junk up and toss it in the trash, girl. And FYI, I used the pink paintbrush in Photoshop on the unclean pad, so calm down. First, you wanna start with damp hair right out of the shower. And remember when I said use fresh, clean pads? This means they are merely made of cotton and miscellaneous fibers. These pads have never even come close to a vajingjong. So again, calm down. As you can see, I'm using the ultra thin pads without wings. And all you do is begin rolling them back to where the soft side is present. Roll it the other way and your hair will be in a very sticky situation. Sort of like when you have ketchup in your kitten. So after rolling up about 16 pads, I put them all in a basket. And even after you finish this tutorial, you don't have to go and buy all new pads again you could still reuse these same pads. So next, I just applied a defrizzing cream all throughout my hair. And let me just tell you, this is the normal part of the tutorial. I also brushed the cream through my hair just to distribute it a little bit better while singing a lovely tune. So now I just took medium sections of my damp hair and I started at the ends and began rolling tightly up to my head. And I used bobby pins to secure them in place and I just continued the same cycle until my entire head was all padded up. So next, you might wanna inform your family members that you haven't gone mad and you do realize that there are maxi pads adorning your gorgeous tresses. So spritz with a light hold hairspray, let your pads dry overnight, go watch Netflix, take a nap, or go take a chill pill because I'm pretty sure your jaw has hit the floor in this point of the video. So after letting my hair dry fully for six hours, I'm removing all of the pads and I just let my masterpiece unfold. And I have to admit this kooky method actually worked and it exceeded my expectations all without using a stitch of heat. So here's the finished result. So if someone asks you how you got these gorgeous curly cues, just tell them it was a long cycle, period. So that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to become an official glitter critter. Let me know in the comments, what's your opinion on this method of madness? Is it totally ew or totally cool? Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful time of the month.